Well one squad welcome back to the channel and as promised I'll be telling you guys when and how I started my lock journey. Oh my God. Yes I did. I'm supposed to tell you guys like a whole backstory of what led up to my decision in locking my hair basically for the past few months before actually locking my hair I've been neglecting it I have neglected washing it not because I'm nasty just because I'm lazy I'm not moisturizing it often enough and it started breaking off and I realized I had no interest in taking care of my loose natural hair anymore I didn't want to cut it so my other best option was getting it locked i was debating the decision on how to lock it and i started off with doing a lot of research even though i had an interest in locking my hair from previous years like from when i was in high school but my mom wasn't for it the reason why i was enticed to do that is because my hair was breaking off a lot i was relaxed then and i wasn't really maintaining any length and when i saw people who had locked hair had long hair and i was kind of like enticed my lock hair just to grow my hair out at that time i knew it wasn't permanent because i actually saw people in my high school who would lock their hair and then lose it out so i knew it wasn't a permanent option and that's why i said maybe i could use this technique just to grow up my hair until i get it a certain type of length and then you know get rid of the lock now realizing that my life is not slowing down anytime soon obviously with the intention of going to graduate school and right now presently i'm not really like i'm not really interested in my hair anymore with me not having an interest to take care of my hair my hair breaking off and me not wanting to cut it and still want it to grow but not really want to put in the work for it i needed something new i needed to be reintroduced to my hair so that I can build some sort of interest in doing it and normally when I get that type of feeling with my hair I normally just put it up in a braid but I couldn't even find a time to braid my hair so there lies my problem so I just decided you know what I'm just going to lock my hair and it's not that it's going to take less maintenance or anything like that I know but it's just going to take less time to do less time to wash to comb everything this is just my easier way just to maintain my natural hair so no longer a loose natural but a locked natural and as i said i was thinking about this since august september but i never actually started doing something to lock my hair specifically i started to twist my hair on november 20th it took me about two days to actually twist my hair but I started off with like mini twists but mini rope twists which is where you twist and twine the hair and what I was thinking is that with it being a little bit smaller able to look a little bit fuller but I don't know what I was thinking because I have very thin hair and I have a very small head it didn't look how I wanted it to look and I wasn't really happy with it the video that I'm showing you right now is actually November 22nd when I just put my took my hair out in a that was in a ponytail to just quickly show you guys because I wanted to make sure I document the whole process to quickly show you guys exactly how my hair turned out when I finished twisting it. One thing I also like to note is that I interlocked after I finished twisting my hair. So when I part my sections, I twist the hair and then interlock the root doing a two-point rotation. I wanted it to lock a little bit faster so I was I was getting my hair wet every time I showered but then I thought the fact that my the hair strands are roped twist together it's not going to lock that fast because rope twists don't get frizzy and loose as how loose twists are after about two or three weeks I kind of just didn't like how just thin and strawny them look especially if I should just take it out a little ponytail it just look like them look a rat tail so <laughs> I've never liked it so I decided to just braid my hair and I put on some I put some Marley twist in my hair and I wrap that for about five weeks yeah yeah so after taking out the Marley twist I decided that you know what maybe I should loose these out and put in loose twists and that's what I started doing. I took out the money twist and then I went in with my tail comb to take out the parts that twisted that isn't locked and just comb it out a bit and just lightly twist it 
so that it doesn't look like a rope twist but it looks like a puppy twist and then you can see that it actually looks a little bit fuller but then I also became impatient and I started researching everywhere on YouTube to see what other method can I use so that I could have like instant locks and that's what I did and I found that you can use a crochet needle or another twist method to actually do the instant lock her name slips me but I will find it again and actually link it down below I found a lady I found a female <laughs> I don't know why it's so, so weird. I found a female that did starter locks on her hair with just her hands. Like she just twist her hair a certain type of method for it to lock. So I, you know, was experimenting and tried it on this specific lock. And I saw that it looked really good. It looked, it, it looked decent. So I started doing it on most of the, the sections in the back are done that type of way but then I was like oh my god this is going to take forever is there any other way that I could actually lock it and then I came across some videos um, saying that they use crushing needles to do instant locks so I went on Amazon and I not Amazon I found a beauty supply store and I got this double hook crochet needle and I started in instant locking my hair with the crochet needle and it gave me somewhat this result. I'll insert a picture to show you guys what my hair looked like when I fully used the crochet needle to give myself in instant dreads and I really like how it came out and all I had to do is just wait for my hair to mature and here I am. Initially using this tool to dread the length of my hair I realized that I retained most of my length um, it is shrunk and no, only because I've had a few washes, so it's not like I expected it to stay. But for the most part, I still have my length that I had. Just for a date reference, finished locking, uh, instant locking my whole head with the crochet needle on January 3rd. And this was fresh. And I am using the interlocking method, so I also got this needle that I use to interlock my hair. When I was doing the instant locks, when I loosed up my hair and washed it and everything and decided to do this, I also relocked my hair because it had grown out a bit. And right now, it's only been, I think about three weeks since the third. Let me just double check that. Okay, tomorrow makes three weeks since the third of January when I did the instant lock. And you can see that it looks a little bit puffy and frizzy and basically so it's very grown out at this point right here is where the knot is this angle is so bad okay, let's try this one right here is where the knot is where i'm holding and that's how much growth i've had since i relocked it on the third but like this too so you can see that it's really grown out and here again you can tell that it's really grown out, so I really am due for a uh, retighten, but I'm not gonna do it until I am completely one month from it. When by then I'll be able to go back in and tighten the roots as well as try to get rid of some of the frizz. If you can see basically the ends of my hair I left out so that they can curl on their own because I like that look and basically i just can't wait until it actually grows out and everything i don't miss my loose hair at all and i feel like this style is very versatile just like it is with braids where you can put it in a ponytail a side poof some hair let down in the front i've also parted it in a way that i could also have a middle part which technically right now i mean because my hair dried the other way it's it, it's a cock up but <laughs> I have a middle part and a side part on both sides, but my thing is a side part thing, so <laughs> leave it that way. Basically, this is what it's looking like so far. And I feel like with the instant lock, I probably don't go through the full stages of locked hair. So I'm, I'm not entirely sure if uh, that's fair, because <laughs> I would I would have liked to experience all stages, but not really. And even in quarantine, this is a time to experience all stages because there 
if you have your ugly days, you're at home, you're not going anywhere. I'm working from home. So I was just too eager and wanted it to look locked right away. In upcoming video in regarding to sharing my journey, I'm gonna show you guys how I actually do some styles on my starter locks, as well as um, moisturize and seal and wash and retighten and everything. So you guys can stay tuned for that. If I may have forgotten a few things or a few details, but if there's anything that you're curious about, make sure to just leave it in the comments. I will definitely get back to you guys. And if it's anything extensive, I will do a whole video on it for you. So even though I technically interlocked my roots on November 22nd, I am just going to say that I started my journey on January 3rd when I completed my interlocks. I do have clips of me using this. So you guys would actually see but this is also a tool that i'm going to use to maintain my hair regarding to getting rid of <clears throat> i do plan on continuing using this to tighten my hair whenever there's like loose strands like now you can see that i have a few loose strands coming out of the lock but again i'm gonna show you guys that in a whole other video because that's the time i should show you in another video i will do a lock count so you guys can know how much locks i do have in the meantime you can probably make your guesses i'll do a little turn around for you You can guess how much locks I have in the comments. I might just even let you guys guess in the actual video where I do the lock count. I can actually tell hair was interlocked before I actually fully dread my hair. So about that length of hair is what has been um, interlocked so far. And you can tell the difference. Here you can feel like the puffiness and here you can actually feel like a braided pattern. And it stops right here. So that's how much growth I've had since I locked my hair on November 20th. I don't know if anybody's mad about me actually getting locks. Too bad. Because <laughs> this is what I'm doing for myself. And this is what I can afford to do in my routine. And I'm completely doing this on my own. I'm not going to any like beautician to actually get this done. Because I'm going to have the money. Not the money, not the time. So... <laughs> That's what it is. Again, if I didn't answer any question, leave them down in the comments and I'll get back to you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to bust a like and subscribe down below. Also click the post notification bell to know whenever I do post a new video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.